Hi, this is Justin from Tech 65, and today we have a first look at the no new Nokia phone, Nokia E6. And today we have uh, Joseph from Nokia to introduce to us the new features and the phone itself of the Nokia E6. So, Joseph, what is so special about this phone? Right, so okay, if you notice the design of the E6 itself, it looks very, very similar to our previous uh, E series devices, uh, as in the E71 and the E72. Okay, however, one huge, huge difference that you can't tell from this video right now is that when I pick it up, okay, it's actually a touchscreen as well. So, what happens is that this will be the first device to come in the local market with Symbian Anna straight out of the box. Okay, and you'll have support for up to five home screens. Okay five different home screens as you can see here. Okay, so uh, as with Symbian Anna, there are, come, there are some uh, changes as uh, I mentioned earlier. Okay, you have your, your icon set that's different. You have messaging, you have a much more improved browser. But in terms of the device itself, right? Okay, on top of having a, the, home, uh, the, the touch screen, okay, one, one major change about the, the touch screen itself is that right now it has a VGA display. So we are not, no longer talking about the uh, 320 by 240 kind of uh, pixels. We are looking at uh, four times as many pixels, which is 640 by 480. So imagine having a uh, uh, monitor squeezed into this 2.46 inch display. We are talking about uh, three, 326 pixels per inch. Which is pretty much similar to the iPhone's uh, Retina display, right? Yes, that's right. On top of that, it has anti-reflection coating, okay, on top of the display glass. So you can be sure that when you're out in the open in the sun, okay, you, you, there'll, there'll be anti-glare for you so you can see while you're outdoors. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can actually see it. It's, it the, the display is a lot more crisper and, and it's not so jagged. You can't see a lot of the jagged lines. So it's actually pretty good. Yeah. So uh, other, this other changes or uh, improvements we have over here would be the battery life. Okay, now the battery life here in terms of the talk time, right? We have in, in comparison to the E72, if you're talking about the uh, 3G talk time, it's well over 25% uh, better. So uh, it's much longer, much longer lasting. Okay, and of course, uh, we, if we are looking at the external what, external design itself, okay, it has stainless steel in the back, okay, a glass display in the front, scratch resistant as well. And on top of that, uh, we have uh, the slimness of this. So it's basically 10.35 millimeters, which is thinner than a CD jewel case. So it's very sleek, very slim, and definitely very classy. So what kind of uh, connector does it have? For the connectivity, uh, or for, the t uh, for the jack itself, sorry, it's a 3.5 millimeters, it's an AV jack. From here, it also supports our TV out. Yep. So you can connect this straight up to your projector, and you can show off uh, as, uh, whatever videos that you take or photos that you, that you share. Speaking of which, uh, for photos, right, this is an 8 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash and for videos, it takes it in full 720p HD. So you can share it straight up. And this is, uh, the camera is actually using the full focus EDOF uh, technology by Nokia. That's right, it's running on EDOF, so it's a, a one touch uh, full focus camera. And uh, the, e, the E6 also has a micro USB port over here. Yeah, that's right. This is a micro USB connector port. And it also supports the um, micro SD card, right? Yes, micro SD card as well. Now, this for your data connectivity as well as for charging. Uh, up here, you also have the 2mm uh, charger port. You can also do it through here. As for the micro SD, okay, it's right at the top. Okay, just right over here. So this has already an 8 gig internal memory. On top of that, it still has microSD support of up to additional 32 gigabytes. Yep. So moving on, okay. Um, as we all know by now, E6. This being the E series, this focuses on business. So uh, we have uh, here is uh, the for the office. Emails wise, uh, we, it supports uh, Quick Office in terms of. Uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you can create, edit, and uh, view documents on the go. So for example, let's say I just quickly pull up a document, let's say a, a sample PowerPoint. So with that TV, TV out, you can project it and uh, straight out a projector and show your PowerPoints flawlessly. 
okay uh, you can also edit them so let's say if there's this particular slide or in that case for that matter any word or excel document that you want to edit you can uh, edit this directly so you mentioned the tv out connector will it come with the package uh, the tv out connector unfortunately will not be however uh, there are certain uh, other additional uh, uh, adapters that come in which brings me to the next one usb on the go now what happens is that uh, this uh, this USB micro USB port on the side here, not only does it uh, support uh, data connectivity as well as charging, but also a micro USB uh, sorry uh, USB on the go uh, adapter, which means that you can plug in, uh, a, for example, a thumb drive, okay, directly through here and copy things, uh, documents or whatever files in and out of your device. And that includes computer too, right? Computers, yes. Okay. Yeah, so um, for emails wise, okay, we have here full support for your personal emails as, as well as your business emails. So if you are talking about uh, your Yahoo Mail, Hotmail, uh, Gmail, etc., okay, it has support for up to 10 different email accounts at one go, and all of this is pushed. Uh, seamlessly to you, whether be it your, your work, work meal or your personal one. So you can be sure that on the go, all these are uh, made available for you. And uh, are the, all the emails aggregated into one mailbox or are they separated into the at different point, accounts? Uh, at this point, it's all segregated into separate email accounts. It's not one unified email uh, inbox for you to view in chronological order as of uh, this point in time. Now, uh, other features that uh, it support, okay, we have uh, multiple calendars and of course uh, having your mails pushed directly to your home screen here, for example, you can see uh, as long as it's pushed, it will appear and you can see it and view it straight up. For up example. to how many calendars uh, would it be uh, able to retrieve back? You, you can uh, sync uh, your personal calendar, which you, ha you have to create here manually or your uh, mail for exchange or uh, if your mail your office email calendar push from Microsoft Exchange so for this uh, there are at least two calendars that you can personalize at the, on the go. Will it support Google Calendar? Uh, at this point there is no out of the box support for Google Calendar at this, uh, for the Nokia E6 or for Simeon for that matter at this point. So uh, of course uh, this device has a huge reach across the uh, mass market not only just for business users but for uh, regular users as well. So apps wise we also uh, have not left it out. Okay, um, In terms of the preloaded apps, uh, the more popular ones of course which are built in, we have the OV Maps. Now OV Maps uh, has some minor changes, uh, improvements that makes it a much more pleasant experience especially if you are a heavy map user. Okay, For this one here, okay, uh, we have now uh, transit lines added to it so if let's say you are on the go okay let's see let it load now and find our position well it's loading it uh, it seems to me that it has a new 3d feature right yes 3d you can view it in 3d uh, let's go back to here okay let it so yes, uh, the 3D landmarks uh, which was already available previously now has uh, some uh, contouring improvement so it looks much nicer not only for 3D but if let's say if you are if you've been an uh, OV Maps user before okay it's much 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 more smoother okay hold on so for example uh, in terms of perspective wise the point of view there's some improvements as well so um, that's for OV Maps. Okay, uh, the next up that I'll show you. And uh, before oh, you go sorry. to the next one, I understand that OV Maps, you can actually pre download the country's maps now, right? That's right. Up um, to. Okay, so what happens is that previously you could download them offline using your PC, but with Symbian Anna now, the improvement, one major improvement for this is that you can download them offline through your phone as well uh, via wireless LAN. So if let's say you can't uh, have a, a immediate access to your PC or you don't have a cable or you want to download straight off here and you're in a Wi-Fi hotspot, okay, you can download the full country directly. You don't have to go through uh, page by page to actually download it, uh, download the cache, download it into your cache. So, Up to how many countries? Okay, currently right now we have over 180 plus cities uh, that are available for download. And in terms of navigation, uh, we have a reach of 70 over countries uh, that uh, allows you to do drive and walk navigation. Yep. So for this, for OV Maps, of course we have the OV Store, 
where it allows you to download uh, thousands of apps straight up and unique to uh, Nokia as well we also have what we call the top apps okay which is down here where it brings the best of movie store directly to you so if you find that you are having uh, loads of uh, trouble trying to trawl through page after page uh, to find the app that you want. You have it all here. They bring the best of what Ovi Store has to offer directly to you. So in time to come, when this is officially launched, you'll have a separate category for E6 that will appear here. Just pretty much like how we need it for the E7. We have the E7 Essentials under here. Same for this, we'll have the E6 one as well. So um, I think that's pretty much it for the features. So any timeline of the release of the e Nokia E6 in Singapore? Okay, so for the E6, it will be expected to launch in early June and it will be launched with, the, with these two colors, okay, uh, black and silver. As for the white, this will be launched at a later date. And at retailing at uh, what price? Okay, uh, at sales start, it will be going at 570 Sing dollars retail price, and that's, that's not the uh, telco's uh, no. rebate kind of price, okay? No, not a subsidized price. All right, thank you very much, Joseph. Um, great, and this is the Nokia E6 first look. Thank you very much.